that's the key question, isn't it? And uh, let me summarize it to start with by saying the abstract uh, in answer, the short answer is anybody who does research and development, my experience, and I think it is really absolutely true, research and development or science, whether it's applied science or basic science research, wants to have full contact with their or their their experiment instrumentalities as well as the flow of information visual telemetric uh, whatever full contact and awareness of what's going on and uh, the maximum amount of opportunity to adjust uh, real time uh, what's happening to get the most out of the work in the most expeditious fashion now whether that's done like I was doing in person uh, with the equipment or whether it's done through uh, manipulation uh, remotely. Um, uh, telemetric telemedicine, uh, of course, is a great uh, opportunity for, uh, for uh, access to space. And, uh, uh, but research in all uh, industrial and, again, scientific disciplines uh, could benefit from uh, a broader bandwidth of, of communication both up and down uh, that uh, Soul Star's uh, uh, focus uh, on persistence uh, and resilient uh, command and control opportunities uh, uh, via the internet is, I think, a perfect example of the kind of access that researchers would want and need. That uh, uh, anyone who is actuating something in space, not even research necessary, but applications assembly activities in space done robotically, but with some command and control from a distance. Again, this kind of persistence and resilience, redundancy, as well as, hey, the casual stuff. I didn't get a chance to talk to family on the ground. That was, no astronauts did at the time when I was flying. Today, they have the opportunity from the space station, but, uh, but interference is always possible. And you'd like to have the most persistent uh, and continuous and contiguous and even private access to not only data for work, but with uh, communications uh, with friends and family.